Brandy knows there's a lizard inside this chair over here. What's in there? Your lizard friend? Well, you're scaring him now. I don't think he's going to come out now. You still think he's in there? Still think he's in there? Let's see. I don't think so. I think you scared him away. If he's in there, he's not coming out now. something from Amazon this week and I'm going to share it with you all because it's a component that works with my smart home along with the smart things hub by Samsung and in conjunction with uh, the Amazon Echo so I can speak to make this thing work. These are the Leviton Z-Wave Plus switches. I got these. I'm going to hook this up to uh, our new TV that we wall hung in our bedroom last week. and uh, So we don't have to fumble and, and fumble around and find the remote control for it. All we have to do is speak to our Amazon Echo, which we have one in our bedroom, and just tell it to turn the TV on. So I'm going to go with that uh, through that with you today and uh, we'll hook one of these up and connect it to our smart things hub by Samsung and along with the uh, Amazon Echo so stay tuned You're Still looking for that lizard Where is he? Is he still in the chair? You can't get him out That's okay. You just have to wait. He'll come out Maybe he already ran away silly and determined. Let's open this thing up and see what we got here. I've used several different brands before. This time it's a Leventon Universal Z-Wave Plus outlet switch. Instructions I don't think I'll need, hopefully. Okay, this you plug into your power. And here's your switched outlet port after that. And here's your manual switch. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do here, you'll have to open up your SmartThings app to connect a new thing. Here's your SmartThings app, which you're familiar with if you've got one already. to your 
things. If you go into things, you can see everything I've got in the house uh, currently. I've got an attic reset camera switch, back porch ceiling, back porch one, back porch two, backyard, balcony, bar lights, bathroom, breakfast nook, cabinets, chandelier, closet, dining rooms, doorbell, driveway, fan, all kinds of things I have in my house currently. And today we're just going to add one more and I'd wanted to bring you here to show it to you uh, to see how easy it is to hook up in case uh, you want to start your own smart house. <clears throat> okay, we're going to include our plug-in device. First we're going to open up the SmartThings app. We've got a test lamp nearby that we're going to be testing. And we're going to put it into inclusion mode. Tap your star symbol down here and you got connect devices. We're going to search for outlet device. And we want the Leventon outlet module 15 amp. So we select that and then we'll do connect now. You'll plug in your device. Make sure the plug only goes in one way because you've got one, one side that's thicker than the other. And then we're going to plug in our new thing to power. You should see it power up. This is your manual control. Now to set this into inclusion mode, the instruction state that you'll want to hold this button for seven seconds. Until it starts flashing amber. Now it's in inclusion mode. We should start seeing it pick up here. It says to press it one time afterwards. And it starts flashing green. So we should start seeing it pick up here into our Smart Things app. We're just patient. And if this doesn't work, there's another workaround we can try. <clears throat> okay, it's stopped. It's not in inclusion mode now. It says one thing is found, Z-Wave Relay, tap to configure. So success in having that included now. What you want to do tap to configure and then name the device and name it how you want to speak to it to turn it on and off so we're going to name it uh, bedroom TV and we're going to select a room that we want that in and we want it in our bedroom that's good do next and then do done. Now we're going to try it out. I'm going to go back to my things. We're in rooms now. We're going to go to bedroom. We should see this now. Bedroom TV. On. See how it's turned the light on? I'll get you a better look at that. So we're just pretending this light here is our TV light right there. So this is our app, bedroom TV, off, on, successful. Now we've got to hook it up to the real deal. Stay tuned. Okay, here's our bedroom. It's usually a mess, but this is the uh, big screen TV or huge screen TV in our bedroom. I mounted it up high. We also had this TV in here, but I'm going to relocate this TV. This is kind of a unique piece here. If you press the button on the side, plus it's got a remote control to operate this TV housing and a TV actually 
comes up from the back of the housing. So. All right, now we're at the back of the cabinet. I've got my pre-programmed outlet switch, Z-Wave. <clears throat> this is the extension that goes up to the TV. So I'm gonna plug this into here. And then plug this into here. then I can scoot the cabinet back. So we've got our smart outlet down there hooked up. We just have to test the TV and then uh, we'll come back and uh, then we'll just go ahead and slide that cabinet back into place up against the wall. So let's see if this works. Okay, we're back. As you can see, the TV is on and these unique little LED light behind there, the, the lighting strips, those are cool. I recommend those, you can change the color on it. Very nice. So what we wanna do here is check it out, make sure we can turn this thing on, on and off with our smart device first. And as you can see, I went into rooms and then bedroom that I had already preset up. And now I've got bedroom TV. It shows it's on now. If I click this off, our TV's off. Our lights behind it are off. If I turn bedroom TV on, our TV comes back on. So the next step is to hook this thing up to the Amazon device. So we'll get to that. Okay, here's our Amazon Echo. We have it on our headboard here. Echo, what time is it? The time is 2.24 p.m. Notice it comes out of our speakers there. I have them connected by Bluetooth. Echo, what's the weather going to be like tomorrow? Here's the forecast for tomorrow in Odessa. Look for mostly sunny weather with a high of 87 and a low of 70. All right. Now I'm going to show you how to program this new switch uh, to operate with your Amazon device. Okay, you're going to want to log in to the Amazon app, your Alexa app, which I've already got it on my phone here. And we're going to have to teach Amazon to have another device hooked up to our smart home now. So we're going to go to smart home within the menu. And... Right down here, we're going to do Discover Devices. Right now it says we're at 100 smart home devices in, in this house. So we're going to Discover. Hopefully we find another device here. Yes. Now we're at 101 smart home devices. So Amazon has picked up now that we have that other device. It already knows its name because it's added it right to the top of our list here. Bedroom TV, smart device. So now you can exit out of this 
and uh, you can exit all the way out. Now, <clears throat> what we're going to do is tell Amazon Alexa to turn on our bedroom TV or turn it off. Right now, in this case, we're going to have it turn off. Echo, turn off the bedroom TV. Okay, let's see if we've got it here. We've put everything together. We've programmed our Z-Wave outlet switch. We've plugged it into our TV and light system here in the bedroom. And uh, we've just programmed it to work with uh, Amazon Alexa. So let's give it a shot. Right now it's on, so let's turn it off. Echo, turn off the bedroom TV. Okay. And we have success. Echo, turn on the bedroom TV. Okay. So, we've done it today. Um, I want to thank everybody for coming by to my channel and watching each and every one of my videos. I hope you subscribe now. Subscribe on that button right down there in the corner. Hit the little reminder chime too so that you can get every future episode that I post to the TW Home Show. Because I don't want you to miss out. Maybe there will be something in those videos that you can use at a future date. And maybe you just find it interesting to watch. So, thanks for coming by. Echo, turn off the bedroom TV. Alright, let me go show you how to do this.